Hi there fellow guitar slingers, Joshua Rogers here. Thanks for joining me today. This is a tutorial that's been requested by a lot of people. It's Moonlight Sonata by none other than Ludwig van Beethoven. This is the first tutorial. If you want to follow along with me exactly, you need to subscribe and leave a comment down below or send me a private message with your email in it. That way I can send these tabs out to you. I recommend that you do that simply because there's so many tabs floating around out there and a lot of them they're just not accurate or they're extremely difficult. I've put a lot of effort into this tab so that you can play it as easily as possible but still retain all the nice sonorities that the original piano version has. The original's in C sharp minor, this is down in A minor. You can actually put a capo on if you want to try and get it a bit closer to the original key but to me it sounds great in A minor. Let's do this! Bar 1 is an A minor, 1st finger, 1st fret, B string, 3rd finger, 2nd fret, G string, 2nd finger, 2nd fret, D string. And we're going to be playing the open A and the 4th string together, followed by 3 and 2. And then we're going to do 4, 3, 2. bar. Keep holding this A minor down and then your fourth finger is going to go up onto the third fret of the sixth string. And you're going to do the same thing again. This time though you start off by picking the sixth string and the fourth string together but everything else is the same. Just on the last one here, the last group of three, you play both of those first two notes again, six and four together. major chord. It's a full bar on the 1st fret, 3rd finger onto the 3rd fret of the D string, 2nd finger, 2nd fret on the G string. Same two strings to begin. You do that twice. Then we move to the 3rd fret, full bar, Here I have a 4 bar at the 3rd fret, 3rd finger on the 5th fret of the A string and I'm playing 5 and 4 together followed by 4, 3, 2. Okay, moving on to the next bar, it's an E7 chord, 4th finger, 3rd fret, B string, 1st finger, 1st fret, G string, 2nd finger, 2nd fret, D string and we're going to be playing open E fourth string together. So it's these two followed by three and two. Then leave this finger here and you're going to move to an A minor. So that's third finger goes to the second fret on the G string, first finger, first fret on the B string. Pick four, three, two. Then your first finger comes off. Four, three, two again. Then all of your fingers come off. First finger goes onto the first fret of the G string. Four, three, two again. Let's just try those two bars going from the F. A little tip, performance tip: Do you need to try to make the notes sustain as long as they can? Hear that? I took my fourth finger off quite early and. It makes the piece sound a little bit jumpy. So what you want to try to do is hold those notes till the very end and change it to the last second. And you see, I held that. If I take it off early, this is what it sounds like. Not too bad, but it, it does sound better if you sustain everything. the first chord and we're going to sort of ascend up in threes so that's five four three four three two and then four three two again then you pick the fourth string and the first string okay that sounds a bit strange but this is how it sounds in context There we 
probably sneaking in a quick little E before the next chord. I'll do it one more time. Then we're moving to one of the sort of stranger chords. It's an E7 chord. Third finger on the fourth fret of the sixth string. Fourth finger on the fourth fret of the G string. Second finger, third fret, B string. And you're going to get this one ready. You don't have to put it on right now. But it should be ready to go on to the 2nd fret of the D string. This bar sounds like this. There we have the 6th string and the 1st string together. Then 3-2, followed by, this one's coming on, 4-3-2. Okay, let's just run that whole bar. Then here, we're going to do the 4th string and the 1st string open together. Same rhythm as the other one. I'll put it all together. So we're sneaking that open E in again. Then it's a shift to the A minor again. Same chord. There we have open A and open E. Then 3, 2, 4, 3, 2. Then we're going to shift to a D minor chord. 1st finger, 1st fret on the 1st string, 4th finger, not 3rd, 4th finger on the 3rd fret of the B string, 2nd finger on the 2nd fret of the G string, and we're going to pick it like this. Let's open 4th string and 1st string together, 3, 2, then your 3rd finger goes on here, that's why you used your 4th finger here, 3rd finger goes on to the 3rd fret of the D string, and you pick 4, 3, 2. Let's try running that bar together. The next chord we have. Okay, that's the first part of the bar. Third finger, third fret on the sixth string. First finger, first fret on the B string. And we're playing sixth and open first string together. Then open G, followed by the B string. Our second finger goes down onto the second fret of the D string, and you're going to play 4 3 2. Now I've left this finger on. Then we're moving to a bar on the third fret. Here we're picking the sixth string and the B string together. Third finger goes onto the fifth fret of the D string, second finger, fourth fret on the G string. Then play the 3rd fret and the 3rd fret on the 4th and 1st strings. So don't take this finger off. We're going to hammer on to the 5th fret on the D string. And then the G string. Let's put that bar together. If it's a little bit weird, you can just pick it. Bar number 9, have a C chord, 1st finger, 1st fret on the B string, 3rd finger, 3rd fret on the 5th string. Play those two together, then followed by open G and back to the B string. And you're going to do that four times. So that's bar number 9. The next bar is a little bit strange, uh, this chord. We have the 4th finger on the 8th fret of the 6th string, 2nd finger 6th fret on the A string, and it's a little bit of a bar here across the 4th uh, and 3rd strings at the 5th fret, so it looks like this. Alright, so there we're picking the 6 and 5 strings together, followed by 4 and 3. to this chord, 4th finger on the 6th fret of the A string, 2nd finger 5th fret on the D string, 3rd finger 5th fret on the G string, 1st finger 4th fret on the B string. And you're going to be playing 5, 4, 3, and then you play the A and the B strings together, followed by 5, 4, 3. Put that together. Then there's a very important
important technique that you have to understand here. It's called pivoting. I'm going to leave these two fingers on when I change chords. So my third and fourth fingers are changing around here. I have explained this in quite a few of my tutorials and it's something you've, I think is really beneficial if you understand this concept of pivot fingers. It really helps changing between chords, uh, especially chords like this. They're quite tricky and you want to make it as easy on yourself as you can. I'll show you that again. I'm leaving these two fingers on, one and two, and I'm just lifting off three and four and I'm going to put them like this. Third finger is going to the sixth fret on the sixth string, fourth finger is going to the sixth fret on the G string, and I'm going to play six and two together, followed by four three. Then my third finger moves to the sixth fret on the A string. Do that twice, 5 4 3, 5 4 3. Then I'm going to play both of these together, 5th string and 2nd string together. I'm going to put together a couple of bars so you can see everything happening. <laughs> I hope you've got it. Okay, so now. A full bar at the 4th fret and you can finger this one of two ways you can either put your 2nd finger at the 5th fret of the G string or you can put your 3rd finger there it's really a personal choice and your 3rd finger or 4th up to you goes on to the 6th fret of the D string and then we're going to have this little kind of descending motif the 6th and 2nd strings together down but these fingers stay so this is what I mean you could either do it like this and then swap there or if you do it with these two fingers all you have to do is move your first finger like this so I'll put that together so you can hear what I mean there I swapped fingers but here if I move from this chord and straight into this it's up to you this you know I'm not going to say you have to do it one way or the other. I've just done this. Then we're moving down to like a D chord with a, an inversion D7 chord with a, an F sharp in the bass. Second finger on the second fret of the sixth string. Third finger, second fret on the G string. First finger, first fret B string. We're going to pick them one at a time. Then our fourth finger goes on to the third fret of the B string, and we're going to play an open D and that one at the same time. And then second fret on the G string, first fret on the B string. I'll put that just that last bit together. Okay, so I'll take it from this chord here. at the 3rd fret, 4th finger onto the 5th fret of the D string and our 3rd finger onto the 5th fret of the A string. And we're going to pick the 6th string and 2nd string together, then 4 and 3, then 5, 4, 3. Okay. Then we've got an unusual chord coming up. 4th finger goes to the 4th fret on the B string, 3rd finger goes to the 3rd fret on the A string. I'm going to pick those two notes together. Then you've got an open G, and then 2nd finger, 2nd fret G string. Okay, that's a bit weird. It's, um, some people don't have problems doing these chords. Me, I find it a little bit uncomfortable, but it's just something you've got to get used to. Then we're moving to this chord. 1st finger, 1st fret on the B string, 3rd finger, 3rd fret on the D string, together. Then open G, hammer on to the 2nd fret on the G string. Let's try that bar. Then we move back to this chord, the 3rd fret, G minor, with our 4th finger on the 5th fret of the D string, 3rd finger, 5th fret on the A string, and we're going to be picking 6 and 2 together, then 4, 3, then 5, 4, 3, then we're moving to this chord here, 4th finger, 
fifth fret on the A string, third finger, fourth fret on the D string, first finger, second fret on the G string, second finger, third fret on the B string, and we pick five and two together, then four, three, and then five, four, three. Let's do that bar together. Then we're barring again at the third fret. Full bar, third finger, fifth fret on the D string. I'm going to play those two together, six and four together. Then three and two. Then four, three, two, four, four. So here, we're going to a G major. We're going from G minor to G major. Second finger goes on to the fourth fret of the G string. So I'll just put that little bit together. play the fourth string and first strings together, then three and two again. That whole bar. Keep the bar and you're going to put your second finger onto the fourth fret of the B string, third finger, fourth fret on the first string, fourth finger, fifth fret on the G string. And you're going to be playing the 6th and the 1st strings together. Sounds a bit strange. I mean, that's a big clash. You've got a G and a G sharp. Okay, so there we have 6 and 1 together, then 3, 2. Then our bass note is going to go to the 3rd fret on the A string. So that's together and we're going to go first fret on the D string then first fret on the B string there I'm going to the fourth fret on the B string then we're moving out like almost the full bar you can do a full bar here second fret third fret second finger on the A string fourth finger fifth fret on the G string 3rd finger, 4th fret on the B string. It's quite a monster looking chord. The A string and the 1st string together, followed by 3 and 2. Alright, I'm going to put those two bars together so you can hear it in context. Bar 17, we are back to a full bar at the 3rd fret, 2nd finger, 4th fret on the G string, 3rd finger, 5th fret on the D string, and we're going to be playing 6 and 1 together, 3, 2, 4, 3, 2, 4, 3, 2, 4 and 1 together, 3, 2 again. Exact same bar but that had the tricky couple of chords in it. Alright, so that's that bar. Then we go back to that G chord. Then we're moving to a diminished chord. First finger on the second fret of the D string, second finger, second fret on the B string. 4th finger, 3rd fret on the E string. 3rd finger is on the 3rd fret of the G string. And I'm going to play 4th and 1st strings together. So that's 3 and 2. Then I'm going to do an open G and hammer on to the 3rd fret. Then to the 2nd fret on the B string again. Let's put that bar together. Here's another unusual looking chord. 3rd finger, 4th fret on the A string. 2nd finger, 3rd fret on the 1st string. 1st finger, 2nd fret on the G string. And we're going to pick 5 and 1 together. Then to the G string. And then open E. Lift your 2nd finger off. Then a hammer on. Open G, 2nd fret G. Then to the open E. to the D 
D minor chord from way back in the song, first finger, first fret on the first string, and you're going to play that and open D together, second fret on the G string, third fret on the B string, then your third finger goes on to the third fret on the D string, and you're going to play 4, 3, 2. Together. to bar 21, full bar at the 3rd fret, 2nd finger 4th fret B string, 3rd finger 5th fret D string, 4th finger 6th fret A string, and we pick 6 and 2 together, then 4 and 3, then 5, 4, 3. Then we're moving, hold the bar still, 2nd finger 4th fret 6th string, 3rd finger, 4th fret, G string, 4th finger, 5th fret, A string, 6 and 2 together, 4, 3, 5, 4, 3. This is how it sounds in context. Next bar, 1st finger, 2nd fret, G string, and an open A together. Then you're going to hammer on with your 4th finger, onto the 5th fret of the A string, followed by 2nd finger on the 3rd fret of the D string, like this. Then do the hammer on again, open A, hammer on, and back to the 3rd fret on the D string, followed by another hammer on again, this time to the 2nd fret on the D string with your 1st finger. Leave your 1st finger on, then do a hammer on again, but to the 4th fret on the A string. That sounds like this. Then we're going to be moving to a sequence of D minor arpeggios. But here we're kind of back to that chord that you just came from. 4th finger, 5th fret, A string. 2nd finger, 3rd fret, D string. 1st finger, 2nd fret, G string, and you're going to play those three. Keep these two fingers on, then your 3rd finger comes to the 3rd fret on the B string, and you play those three strings. Then you're going to move along to this chord here. 3rd finger, 7th fret, D string. 4th finger, 7th fret, G string. 2nd finger, 6th fret, B string. Play those three. Then you're going to put this finger on as a bar across the first three strings at the fifth fret, and you're going to play seven and five together, the D and the first strings together, and then three, two, one. That bar sounds like this. by an A7 chord so the, the little half bar stays there and your 2nd finger goes to the 6th fret of the G string, 4th finger goes out to the 8th fret on the B string and your 3rd finger comes to the 7th fret on the D string. You're going to play open A and the 1st string together, then 3, 2, 4, 3, 2, 4, 3, 2, then the D and the 1st strings together. Then 3, 2, 1. Now put that bar together. Keep the bar. 2nd finger, 6th fret on the B string. 4th finger, 7th fret on the G string. And 3rd finger, 7th fret on the D string. And you're going to play open A and the 5th fret on the 1st string together. 3, 2, going to this chord, 1st finger goes to the 4th fret on the 1st string, and you play that and an open A together, then 7-6 on the G and B string, move along to the 5th fret on the 1st string and an open E at the same time, then 7-6 again on the 3 and 2 strings, so that whole bar sounds like this. Then we're moving 
moving to this chord here, first finger, fourth fret on the sixth string, fourth finger, seventh fret on the first string, you play those two at the same time, then your third finger is on the seventh fret of the G string, then open E, open B, and you do that twice, fourth finger goes back onto the seventh fret of the first string, and then you play that, and then seventh on the G, and then open E, like this. Then we're moving up to an A minor chord. First finger, eighth fret on the first string. Second finger, ninth fret on the G string. Fourth finger, tenth fret on the B string. Third finger, tenth fret on the D string. And you play open A and the first string together. Three, two. seventh fret of the first string, third finger seventh fret G string, second finger sixth fret B string, you play open D and the seventh fret on the first string at the same time. Three, two, that's a pretty short chord. Then a bar at the fifth fret, second finger goes on to the sixth fret of the A string, and your third or fourth finger doesn't really matter, on to the seventh fret of the B string, and you play the fifth the string and the first strings together, followed by the G string and then the B string, or three and two. So let me put that bar together. First finger, fourth fret on the first string, seventh fret, fourth finger on the A string. Play those two together. Then sixth fret on the D string, followed by open B, open E, like this. So that last two notes was 6th fret on the D and open B. Then here you're going to pivot around and your 4th finger goes to the 6th fret on the B string. So there we've got that note on the B string, and then 6th fret on the D string, and 4th fret on the G string. So I've pivoted around this one. Then my 4th finger acts as a guide finger, slides down to the 3rd fret on the B string, and I'm going to put my 1st finger on the 1st fret of the G string, and I play followed by open B. So that bar is this. chord, 1st finger 1st fret on the G string, 2nd finger 2nd fret on the D string, and we're going to play open E and the 4 strings together, and 3, 2, it's an open B. Alright, then 4, 3, 2, and then my 3rd finger goes on to the 3rd fret of the 4th string, but everything else stays the same. Then it's open D. Then we're moving to the fifth fret, half a bar. The third finger goes onto the seventh fret of the D string, followed by five five on the three and two strings. Okay, so let's break it down. Fifth fret on the first string, and then there, my fourth finger has come out to the eighth fret on the first string, and it comes off. Let's put that bar together. Then we've got a real kind of unusual thing happening here. We have open E, then third fret on the A string, second fret on the string and first fret on the G string and it's all one after another like this yeah, really strange sounding chord is cool though bar across that first fret there if you want to so I'm just going to play that again and then the next
next one is first uh, fret on the B string. Then we're going to do something unusual. We're going to leave the third finger on here and we're going to move the bar like that. So it's coming across to the second fret and I'm barring the four and three strings like this. so many ways to do this. This just suits me. It helps me sort of keep all those notes ringing. You can finger that however you like, but that works for me. The next one we have like an, an ascending diminished uh, arpeggio. Right, so that's the first triplet. We have an open E and second finger, second fret on the A string. We play that together. Then three open on the D string. Okay, so that next group of three. First fret, G string. Third fret on the D string. Then fourth fret on the G string. Followed by first fret on the G string. Then third fret on the B string. Fourth fret on the G string. Then here you could like pivot a bar or you can just move your first finger to the first fret on the first string and see my third finger stayed as a pivot finger. So last group of three, first fret on the first string, third fret on the B string, then fourth fret on the first string. Let's put that bar together. to bar 33 we have the A minor from the beginning of the song and here we're starting it with the fourth finger on the third fret of the A string and we play E and the A string together then we're going to climb up that's 3 4 2 3 then we're moving to a half a bar at the fifth fret so that's Two, three, one, two. Then we're going to do a pull off from the eighth fret to the fifth fret on the first string. Then back to the second string. Here it is in its entirety. Fellow guitar slingers, I'm glad you've stuck it out with me. Please give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment. Give me suggestions of what you'd like me to cover next. As you know, let your fingers fly. 